and live we are live. On Facebook. Well, we go. setting up your webinar for Facebook Live. I clicked go live. You said it's on your personal page? On my Facebook page. Uh, let's see here. My public figure page. I hear your public figure. There we go. One viewer. Is that you? Yes. And okay. then I have to share it. Let's see here. They do not make this easy. All right, I'm sharing it to the other group. Did you share it to my KDP group? No, I shared it to the big one. Okay. All right, there we go get this shared everywhere then we can start and then share it to my mastermind group i love that group very active in that group. oh we have two people watching now hello people <laughs> all right all right there we go now we're shared so let me open it up so i can get the comments rolling on it all right there we go welcome back to another live week two um, hopefully we can start doing these every week, Neil, um, just talk KDP. You know, I think the more we talk about it, the more people will start to realize how easy it really is. Get familiar with it. Yeah. Just, I mean, at a face value, it does seem like a lot of work. Um, but once you kind of go through the process a few times, it makes it a thousand times easier. Um, it doesn't look like a wild beast anymore. Agreed. Hey, Larry, how's it going? Our first commenter. Um, so if you have questions during this, just drop a comment. Um, we will answer them. If you have no idea what KDP is, you should probably watch this, start listening to it, um, and go to kdp.amazon.com and sign up for an account today. It's free. It's just like merch, but with notebooks, literally. It is merch, but with notebooks. It's um, merch, but with notebooks with no waiting time. Yes. And so I have a question. Support will actually answer you. So there's that. <laughs> they will answer you and they answer you in a very reasonable time frame, and they give really good answers. Um, what's up, Aaron? So yeah, like notebooks, literally just notebooks and notebooks and notebooks and planners and journals and logs. And I don't, I don't think people really um, realize the potential with KDP yet. They say, oh, no content, low content books. It's, you know, it's look, look at Larry here. First month, 47 bucks, 119 in royalties. That's awesome. That Larry, awesome. he's been messaging me some. Super happy for him. He's having a killer month on merch. Um, hi, Teresa. How are you? But yeah, Larry, he's been, you know, I keep telling him, like, listen, you're going to become addicted to it. You're going to become addicted to it. And then he messaged me. He's like, oh, I got my first sale. And then he was messaging me the other day, like, oh, yeah, um, I'm doing pretty good already. He's like, I need to <laughs> put some more time into it. I'm like, I'm trying to tell you this. Um, yep. And, and the thing is, those books, those 47 books are probably going to keep selling every single month and he's never going to have to go back and re-upload them. Um, so you never have to re-upload them. I, I, that still kind of boggles my mind at times. So it's like, oh, right now, guess what? If you want to start uploading for Christmas stuff and you want to start doing white elephant stuff, put white elephant in your keywords and start uploading for it now. They're still going to be there. Were you the one who had to explain to me what the white elephant thing was? I don't know if it's me or the live before you were on that did it, but someone had to explain. I'd never heard that term before. Um, is my promo code Jake J Bait seventy still active? Uh, I never changed it, so it should be. So if you use, I, I the only reason I say this is Jack said I haven't tried KDP yet. I plan to get Bookbolt, but it never happened. If you click on the link that I'm about to drop in the comments and use promo code JBait70, you'll get seventy percent off your lifetime subscription, uh, which 70, brings it, it's seventy dollars. Seventy dollars off, only not seventy percent off. Yeah. Um, and then you'll have it for life. And right now, you know, there's some good portals in it. There's some good things like the book designer, uh, which you can take your merch designs um, and put them on a notebook and upload them. Now, I think we're going to go over that today. In a yes. Few. 
Um, one thing I will say is not every single merch design you have needs to be on a notebook. Um, you know, this is my St. Patrick's Day t-shirt. I did that. The very first time I uploaded, I was uploading batches and I started uploading. I'm going through the process and I noticed some of the books that I put up literally say t-shirt on them. And I'm like, oh no, no one's going to buy No one, no one's going to buy that. And guess what? They haven't. I have one book that has shirt on it that has sold. It was that sold. That's awesome. But it's the only one I put up and I literally looked at it like, um, why is this up? And then about two (laughs) weeks later it sold and I'm just like, not going to question it. Um, so let's see, Aaron, can you do that well with just lined ruled notebooks or do you need low content books to do that? Well, um, I upload mostly lined notebooks still. There's a lot of interiors that I have that I'll be using in the future to, you know, you do planners and coloring books and log books and stuff. But right now I have so many ideas that are just for line notebooks that I'm just trying to get all of those out of the way first before I start going in different directions with things. Pretty um, much the same for me. Yeah, there's no, you can make thousands and thousands a month to just, you know, upload line notebooks. You don't have to upload coloring books and planners and all these custom things to make thousands a month. Well, the thing thing is too, like you can use, it's only one interior, right? It's just one lined interior. You already have all the merch designs. Pretty sure everyone watching this is already in merch. So you just use, you just reuse the same interior over and over and over again. And then if you get down the line, And you're like, wow, I made this really cool, um, I don't know, meal planner, right? Then you can use all the same designs again and then just use the meal planner interior. So here's the example. I know there's going to be new people on here this week. See, Aaron, here is a um, calendar, 365-day planner, I should say. It's empty. I bought this. Um, So like this is still considered a low-content book, no-content book. It's just – it's literally you make this once and you have – a planner that you you can use in a thousand niches if you want. Um, it's nothing like, holy crap, I have to make a new planner every time. It's not like merch. You know, with merch, you upload a design and it's like, okay, well, that design's up. I can put it on different products, but that's it. With an interior, you can use it on 10,000 notebooks if you want. So once you make it once, you have it. And it doesn't really matter the niche either, right? I mean, because you can have a unicorn dancing across a field and, you know, the, the little girl who's going to school might want a planner too. But if you have a design for you know, business people, adults, they're also going to want a planner. So it's, it's definitely re- reusable. Um, let's see here. What's a keyword you use to find the books on Amazon to get a better idea? That's where BookBolt comes in, Jack. Um, because, you know, you can go to like merchresearch.com. You can just go to Amazon and type in, you know, keyword book. The thing is, you're going to see, you're not going to see just low content books. You're going to see actual, you know, journals that are printed by, um, what am I trying to say? Printing houses, printing presses, stuff like that. You're going to see other types of things that aren't going to be low content books. Let me do this real quick. I'm going to start sharing my screen here. Um, And I will show you what he means here, Jack. So let's see here. So if I share my screen you should be able to see it now. So you can come to Amazon. I just typed in nurse notebook just because there's a bazillion different items for nurse notebook out there. But you can see here, this is not KDP, not KDP, not KDP. This one is create space. So if you see create space, that is also KDP. Um, they merge together. This is not KDP. This is create space. So this is KDP. So you can see, you know, all of these ones are going to be your KDP um, Amazon notebooks, planners, whatever they might be, but you're also going to get a lot of the other um, junk and other non-relevant items to what you're looking for on here. But if we use something, let's say like book bolt here and we type in nurse, um, you can select your category. We'll just leave it with notebooks here and we click search. Um, as this loads through, you will see that it will bring back just your KDP crease. You go back over to the Amazon page real quick. I saw, wouldn't it be awesome if we could actually do bundles? I saw bundles somewhere on there. Yes. Right here. Yes. But see, that's also a good place to get ideas of, I mean, look at those covers right there. Those covers are not journal. They're not, what am I trying to say? They're not merch um, covers. They're just flowers. What's a good word for that? Like a full kind of full cover or like a, full, a background. They're just yeah. kind of like background patterns. 
Pass. Uh, That's what I'm looking for. I can't talk. To so them. another way you can do this, this is loaded here and you can see it's just going to bring back the KDP stuff, which makes it a thousand times easier when you're going through and it's looking, um, just kind of trying to dissect everything in there. But something else you can do is you can actually change this to, let's see here, I'll, paperback, not large print, paperback. Yep. Um, and then it will bring you back mostly just KDP stuff. Um, but you know, this just makes it, this is a lot more fluent to scroll through in my opinion. It just, it makes it a lot easier to scroll through. You know, it tells you everything right here. So you don't have to say, Oh, look, this one was just uploaded April 16th. It's at 32,000 rank. And look how, look at this. So if you're in the merch world, you know, because freaking awesome isn't an official job title was done a bazillion times. Yep. Look over here on KDP. This one's at 32,000 and it's been uploaded for three weeks. Now, you know, it's crazy. Speaking of that term and other terms in the merch world, from my understanding of reading trademarks, because I see Jack is asking in the comments, you can only trademark a book title if it's part of a series. Yes. If it's not part of a series, they cannot be trademarked. So you're not going to have to deal with the trademark trolls that are everywhere and trying to ruin merch. Well, here's another thing. Most of the, you know, let's, let me try to think. What's your superpower? Okay. You submit that yeah. to merch, instant rejection. You submit that to KDP, you're fine because one, it can't be trademarked. It, it's not trademarked for books. It's trademarked for what? Clothing. Um, so a lot of like the trademark trolls that are, you know, are going into class 25 and everything. And I'm no trademark expert um, at all. It's something I usually don't even really touch. But if you go and look at, you know, a lot of the trademark trolls that are going after merch stuff, they're not even looking at notebooks and they have no legal right to take you down on notebooks. They really don't on t-shirts either, but they do have the trademark at the time. So they do have the right to take you down until. Now that being said, don't go put up Harry Potter notebooks or Disney or Marvel. That's still no. going to get you in trouble. Yes. We're talking yes. about just generic phrases here. Um. So let me see here. Let's. Um, Ken, if you want to make a the Neil book journal, I would buy that. Okay. The Neil. Yep, the Neil. He said, "Where do I buy the Neil book journal?" Um, let's see. I feel maybe KDP can help for extra money when there's slow times in merch, so I can have a more consistent paycheck every month. What do you guys think? If you're doing merch, you should be doing KDP. They I know, go hand I know hand. a few people in KDP that are doing more money on KDP than merch. But again, it really, it depends on the niches you're in. It depends on the, the kind of books you're putting up. It, it's, it works so well with merch because you're using the same design. So you already, you're familiar with Amazon. It's already in your wheelhouse. So it's definitely something you should be doing. Yeah, I mean, I know people that, and here's something else is you're allowed to have VAs on KDP. Yep. I know someone that does five figures a month on average every single month and hasn't uploaded a book in over two years because of VAs. Yep. So don't be afraid. You know, you can seriously, um, you can really scale this out if you want to, but also understand that, you know, if you come in and put up 10,000 crappy designs because there's no tier limit, you're not going to have any success. Um, it's just, going to sit on page 37 and you're going to sit there forever. So let's see here. I'm still sharing my screen, I believe. Um, so let's hop into the book bolt designer here. We're going to take a merch design and we are going to throw it onto um, a notebook cover and then we are going to upload it. So trim size, we're going to do a six by nine here page count. We will do a 120 page count. We'll generate this template here. Didn't you say last live that you like to do 110? No, 120. 120. I always do on 120. I do about 110 usually. I, I don't know I why. Mean, it's just be honest. It doesn't really matter. No, 110 to 120. It's what a four cents different in, in royalties. Yeah. It's cheap. Um, it's nothing to like. Oh my gosh, I'm losing four cents and I'm adding ten more pages. Um, so let's delete this out of here. I don't even know why that was on there. Um, and then let's load up a image here. So we will take this merch design here. Um, we will drag it on over and now we'll have to resize this a little and then and then that looks good to me we already have an upload ready cover just click download 
that simple. We're, we'll move this up just a hair. Um, have you thought about bringing in a snap feature for center line? If you so unselect that. Okay. Okay. And up in the right hand corner, click auto snap and then turn it on. Ah. And then bring it down. Bring it down. Hmm. If you, oh, there, you go. there it is. There's the center. Is there a vertical one though? Um, it depends on what kind of elements you're using. Okay. So I believe on some of the text, you might be able to get a vertical one. Um, we okay. played a around with that snap because we had to redo everything to, uh, for it to accept covers instead of, um, you know, merge templates. Um, let's see here. Larry King, 5k a month. Get there. I know you'll get there. Uh, you're a month one and you're already at over a hundred dollars with 47 live. Um, do some math there and you'll see real quick how quick you can get to 4,700. If you keep doing the same quality, um, putting in the same amount of time and effort into it, you can, you can scale to, um, profit. Roger, where do you get, uh, notebooks online for 10 cents? Because I would buy some of those. Yeah, I, I buy notebooks online for 10 cents and sell them for five ninety five too. too. Um, but, but see, here's the thing. You sell them online and people are paying the five ninety five. I mean, people, when you're spending under $20, I think that's why Merch originally said that, you know, don't price above $19.99. That's anything below that is good price. Is because if you're spending $20 or less, you're not really thinking or contemplating, do I really want to spend this money? Am I really going to miss $20? And notebooks are even cheaper than shirts. Am I really going to miss the six ninety nine? Yeah. I mean, my Chipotle for lunch today was more expensive than a notebook. Yeah, um, I mean, people do not sit there and contemplate a purchase. If they see something like they like and they want a notebook, meal plan, or whatever it is, they're going to buy it. Let's see here. Roughly, how much profit at thirty two thousand? Thirty two thousand what? Thirty two thousand uploads. Thirty two thousand pages. Uh, <laughs> what might it be? Um, yes, please continue the listing. Okay. So now we're going to download this. It looks good here. Um, and this will prepare, we'll download this. We will save it. So we'll just do a, um, let's say upload for the live. Okay. There you go. Now we'll go on over here to KDP. And we will say our book title. Your book title has to match exactly what the cover says. So this one here, everything is better with a unicorn. Um, a note on that. If you have a design like we were looking at earlier on Amazon, if it's just a pattern, then you need to put a title on the spine or somewhere on the cover. Where was that? Let's go back to that so they can see it. So if you're doing like just a design like this, you know, they do have field book here though. Yep. Um, but imagine that field book wasn't here and you just want to do a pattern. You have to put text either on the spine, on the edge of the book, or you have to do something like field book down at the bottom corner, wherever it might be. You have to have some type of text somewhere on your cover or spine um, because your title has to match exactly what the cover says. So like this one, everything is better with a unicorn. If I, if I want my title to be everything's better with a unicorn notebook, I will have to physically add notebook to this design. That is what your subtitle is for. Um, keep, yeah. And keep in mind though, what you put on the book has to show up in the title, but the subtitle is different. Is that what it says? Everything is better with a unicorn. Yes. Okay. Yep. So everything's better with a unicorn subtitle. Um, cute line notebook. And the subtitle can be anything you want. Yes. That's not going to have to be on the cover or spine or anything else. Um, do not keyword stuff. You know, um, I still see people doing it all the time. They'll put like 30 words into their subtitle. Um, <laughs> KDP is not a big fan of that. Okay. Yeah. You might get it to go through, but I keep mine very simple because you have 350 characters in your keyword boxes. You can fit whatever you need to in there. Um, so I'm not going to risk uploading 50 and 40 of them get kicked back because of a subtitle error. Okay. Um, a physical 30 or a physical um, person looks at every single notebook that is uploaded. It's not a system. It's not a process. And if something gets flagged, it gets thrown on over to a person to review it. A physical person reviews every single one. Um, oh, 32,000 BSR. 
let's see here. What was that at? Um, here's 19,341 sales a month, 28,000. Here is 311 sales a month. It should be right around the 300 ish. Yeah. And so keep, keep in mind, keep in mind there that this is going to be a different category for bestsellers rank. So you really can't compare that directly to, to merch. You're not making the same amount of royalties. You're making a lot less royalty, but you're, you're only doing the process a single time. So you might only make a dollar, $2 per book, depending on where you price it at, but you only do the work once. It never comes down. You never have to go in and re-edit. I, I have not seen KDP come back and say, hey, guys, we came out with a new TOS update. Go, you know, change 10,000 pop sockets. I haven't seen that either. So um, so anyways, Hillary, you said I at least say who it's geared toward. So you could say cute school. Um, we'll just do school age to notebook, you know, something along those lines. You can do that. But you shouldn't be sitting here, cute school teacher, first grade <laughs> line notebook for students in math class. You know, you shouldn't be doing something like that. So we'll just stick to cute line journal here or notebook. Either one works. Um, series information. This is not part of a series, so I'm not going to put it in that edition. Same thing um, hey, for this. Real quick, real quick before you do that, when you are uploading books, you have to be uploading a paperback book. Okay. Yes. So in KDP, you have different options. You can upload a Kindle book, but Kindle is going to be all digital and no one's going to buy a digital notebook. notebook. That doesn't make any sense. So you have to click the paperback option. Yes. Um, Teresa, like $2 per notebook, uh, roughly give or take a few cents. If you do like 108 pages, I think you make 204. Um, sounds about right. Yeah. And then if you do 120, you make $1.90. Um, I used to do all 108, but I just changed it to 120, a good flat number. Um, so author name, put in your author, um, contributors. I'm not doing anything here. Neil, do you want your name in here too? Uh, I'm good. Uh, real quick though, on the, on the author note, um, he's putting in his actual name, but that's where you want to put your brand. So if your brand was, I don't know. Pink Pony it? Notebooks. Yeah. You'd put pink as the first name and then pony as the last name. And yes. Your, your brand would show up as Pink Pony. So yeah, I just do this because I'm not going to reveal my main brand names to Alive. Um, so I'm just putting my name in here. You do not have to use your name. Select a good brand name and you know you can break it down by color. So like if I have, you know, I have a watch sitting here. So if my brand name is Red Watch, then I could do a, all my Red Watch stuff could be career stuff. All of my Blue Watch stuff could be animal stuff all of my green watch stuff could be sports stuff um, and that's kind of how i break down my brand names you could you don't have to do colors that's just what i do um but you know you can break it down then so then you know oh i'm gonna go see how these are looking on amazon i know all of my sports ones are here i can just type in that brand name and go there one thing i will say though is to make sure that someone else isn't using the brand slash author name already because you might start showing up on their pages and they won't like that and losing sales potentially if someone's actually searching for that brand. Yes. Um, so description, I keep it very, very simple here. Um, grab this awesome notebook to show your support for unicorns. If you are a magical rainbow child, I don't know something <laughs> random here. Uh, I keep these real, really simple. I try to, you know, put a little bit of humor in, some of them, especially like the coworker space, I try to put humor in my description. Um, but I kind of have templates I use for different niches, different areas. Um, and then you just get a little laugh out of some people. Um, I have a review on one of my books that said they bought it because of my description. It made them laugh. And it was for a coworker gift. Um, it's a great space to get into if you put a little thought into it. Now, publishing rights. I own the I own the copyright. I hold the necessary publishing rights um, and whatnot. Obviously, I created this design or my design team created this design, so I'm good to use it here. Um, you can do public domain stuff, Neil. If you want to touch on that for a second, you can. But I really don't do any of that. I, you know, I'm basically just using all my merch designs, or the, the ones that fit well with notebooks. And outside of that, I'm not really going to use any public work stuff so i mean 99.99 of the time you're gonna pick the first radio button yes unless i'm trying to think of an example here um 
Bible quotes, public domain. Yeah. Okay. Um, things like that, that can go into public domain area. Um, well, well, I don't know. I, I don't know because you take a Bible quote and you put it in a, in your own text. Right. I mean, but if you're doing quotes, quotes from the Bible, because if you go to, I'm trying to think here, let me see if I can, um, right. The drop here. down on what is a public domain work on? What's that say? Click that drop down. I, I have literally never used that option, which is why I'm um, select this option. If you're publishing a public domain book, keep in mind that duration of copyright varies. Yeah, I don't think you'd ever pick that because I think that has to do with the interior. That is true. I but mean, if, you were, if you were uploading, I don't know, is it Shakespeare or something under public domain? I mean, there's probably I some know, book out there. I know like the original Frankenstein is and stuff like that. Um, that's all in public domain. So you could format that for this and upload it. I don't have time to format a 300 page book or whatever it might be. Um, so like ESV Bible is copyrighted. And then if we pull this over here, you can see like, here's the public domain um, King James version and stuff. So these are in the public domain. So you might not have to click it. I would probably email in if you're going to do something like this and you're worried, do I need to post this? Do I need to put it as the public domain? Just email KDP and they'll tell you what to do. Keep, keep in mind, though, if you just think you have some bright idea that you're going to sell print-on-demand Bibles, like there is already stuff on Amazon that is ranked with thousands and thousands of reviews. So you're probably not going to make anything. I would just stick with the low-content books, but that's just me. Yeah, I, I do low-content books. I will probably never have a public domain thing, but it's something to think about for people. Um, so then keywords here, we went over this last week. I can go over it again. Um, so with keywords, I'll say a few things on it here. You can spam these boxes full. Okay. So for example, notebook, journal, organizer, planner, school, grade, notes, notepad, teacher, unicorn, magical, um rainbow i'm just kind of thinking off the top of my head here the reason that you can just spam these keyword boxes is because these are never going to show up on a frontward facing amazon page ever no. like a customer won't see any of this yeah so like if we come here uh let's just click on this one this is a kdp book you'll see they have their description here and you can do H html text on this um as well you can go online and get an html writer that will just translate it for you. But this does not, these boxes here never show up on the Amazon page anywhere. To the shopper, these are just keywords they type in to find your book, okay? So spam these, you don't need to use commas, you don't need to repeat notebook, you know, you don't need to have notebook in the first one and then down here again. Uh, you don't need to repeat keywords, you don't need to use the plural version of it. Um, just keep it very simple, write keywords that are one, what is the product? So what are you selling? Is it a notebook, a journal, a diary, an organizer, a planner? And then who's your target market? You know, unicorn stuff is probably aimed at school people, school teachers for the students, students, younger kids of that sort. And then niche specific keywords. So magical, rainbow, mythical. Um, I'm trying to think of some other keywords here for unicorn. Let's see if we scroll up here, I can type in unicorn. It will bring back some. So keep it relevant. Um, Jack, no commas are needed to separate. You just write, okay? So just write them out. Um, no spaces. You don't need to use the word like and or the, um, you know, school and teacher notebook. You don't need to put and in there. Nope. You just put school teacher, okay? Um, let's see, is this bringing it back yet? So yeah, the three areas you need to target is going to be Who's the product for, what the product is, and the niche specific keywords. Those are going to be your three things that you want to look at. Uh, I mean, if you look here, notebook, unicorn, journal, gift. Diary. I see diary in there. Diary, girls, school, um, birthday, journaling, thoughts, drawing, mat, which is another one because you'll see here in a minute, we'll, I'll select a mat background for this. Um, women, beautiful kids, whatever it might be, you can just look at keywords here. These are going to be your most used keywords based on this niche and the title and subtitle. Correct, Neil? Uh, yes. Yep. So you it, can just take those and put them all in the back end, which is what people are going to be searching for anyways. 
Yeah. So, you know, use these keywords. It's, it makes it, this section here makes your life a thousand times easier. Um, I personally use Helium 10. It's just because it's what I've used for a long time now. Um, and I like it. So fill out these 50 characters in each box. So if you get to the end of the box, and let's just say we are going to type in teach, we can't go any further here. It stops at TE. So then you'd want to put that in your next box. So it's seven boxes of 50 characters. You have 350 characters to work with here. There is no need to spam the subtitle full. Categories. So try to do something. Um, try to do something with that is related to the niche. So we could go into education here. Um, and let's just say this is a school thing. We could come into here. We could scroll through. Oh, elementary. Perfect for elementary kids. Yep. And then we can scroll down and I'll choose non-classifiable as well. Um, and then we click save and our categories are selected. Do something, you know, that is going to be relevant. You know, we're not going to come into juvenile fiction and then come into, let's just say here's fairy tales um, and stuff. You could probably put it in there, but we're not going to come into here and then put it into readers and then put it into chapter books. You know, keep it relevant to what you're working on, the niche you're in, in the audience you're trying to target. And you don't need to spend like three hours looking through this list. Just find something that's close enough. Um, next here, adult content. No. So adult content can be kind of touchy. You know, um, you don't have to come in here and, you know, if you have the word shit, it's not going to be called adult content. It's like, it takes some pretty vulgar stuff to be considered adult content. I've learned. Um, if you're questioning, you know, I have this word on my cover. Does that need to be adult content? Email in. Um, because they're going to tell you, yes, that is, no, it's not. Um, and then like nudity, things like that, that's going in adult content, uh, which you will see out there, especially on interior. Sometimes there's some very funny, vulgar <laughs> adult themed notebooks out there. So we're going to select, no, we're going to hit save and continue here. Go to page two. Um, does book bolt have a planner template? Uh, currently no, but you can actually create your own templates inside of the designer. So if you were to go back to the designer, you can actually select cover, which is what he did, or you can actually select interior, which allows you to make your own interiors, however you want. So right so, there in the drop down, we'll go interior page count. We'll do 120. Um, and then obviously if you're doing a 365 page day notebook, you're going to need more than 120 days. Um, but you can come in here. Let me see here. Let me scroll back up here real quick. There we go. And then you can create whatever you want in here. You know, you can put, you can draw in here even, um, which I'm, I suck at drawing <laughs> with a mouse, um, but you can literally just draw in here. So it's, it's fun. Um, what but is you, interior, man? I bet that's that going fun. to be, this will sell a ton. Uh, but no, my point is you can do whatever you want in here. So if you have like a Wacom tablet, you could come in here and draw some pretty intriguing stuff and you don't even have to draw in here. You can import from, you know, here's a coffee cup that's imported in. You can actually come in here and import things as well. So it's not like, oh, I have to create the entire cover in here. You can create in Photoshop, Illustrator, GIMP, Canva, whatever you use, and then import it in here to quickly make your interiors. Let's see here, AMS available. If so, which accounts can we use? Yes, AMS is available. Um, what you'll do is on your dashboard, I have a whole bunch of things in review right now, so I'm not sharing my dashboard with you. Um, but you go there and it'll say promote and advertise. You click that button, you sign in, whatever, and you can start pushing ads towards your books. Um, what's the most you should upload in a day? Roger, that's up to you. There's days and there's going to be people probably listening to this that hate what I'm about to say. There's days I upload zero. There's other days where I literally upload three or 400. And people are going to be like, well, why are you uploading three or 400 a day? I have a whole team built around this. Um, you know, when things are being designed, I create a spreadsheet that has all my keywords on. It has my titles, my subtitles, my descriptions. And then all I have to do is go in and copy and paste. So I can sit down for five hours, three, four, five, six hours, however long it takes. And I can bust out those 300 designs I just got back from the design team. Or I can sit down and just bust them all out if I have some free time. So it doesn't, there's not necessarily a limit, 
But if you're just uploading things with air after air after air, KDP might get tired of you. It reminds me a lot of when Merge first started. I would I would upload nothing for a week or two, and then I get everything back and sit there and just upload hundreds. Yes. So it's Same sort of thing. Yeah, it's it just create a process for yourself. You know, if you say I can do ten good designs a day and upload them, do ten a day. If you can say I can do ten a week, then do ten a week. There's no you know, there's no right or wrong answer of how many you should upload. It's going to be based on, you know, your business. I have a little bit more time I can spend on these things. Uh, this is what I do full time. I sit here in front of my computer uh, and play on it all day long. So obviously don't say, oh, he can do 500 in a week. Don't try to compete with that and compare that. If, you know, you have three kids, a dog, two wives, and you have six <laughs> jobs. Okay. Um, so, you know, just everybody's going to be different. Are VAs allowed? Yes. Yep. All right. So let's go back here. Print ISBN. So think of an ISBN. It's like a SKU or a serial number, but for books, um, you have to get this. You assign your own ISBN. Um, and once you have an ISBN, those are there forever. Those don't just disappear or, you know, an ASIN, it can go away in a way, in a way. Um, uh, ISBN it's forever there. So now that I click this, it's, this is my ISBN forever. Um, and here in a few, here in about 12 to 24 hours, you guys could search this ISBN and see this on Amazon if you wanted. Um, so now moving on print options, black and white interior with cream paper, black and white interior with white paper, color interior with white paper. I prefer the cream paper. Um, some people prefer the white paper. If you select the color interior option, even if your interior isn't colored, it's going to make you price at like $14 each, which Neil figured out. Um, I made that mistake. I selected color and I was like, why is this line notebook? I'm pricing it at $15. I'm making no royalties. And yeah. I remember that you, you messaged me like, um, why is it making me price at $15? So yeah, something was wrong. And I literally looked through it. I couldn't figure it out. And then I just, the site. Um, so I don't have to worry about takedowns from Jenny the cat lady because she has a class 25 or a class 9 TM on some cat related phrase. No. Um, bleed is, I mean, if you're infringing on her brand, so if Jenny the cat lady has a logo and it says Jenny the cat lady and it's her logo for her brand and her company, you know, an established company trademarked the right way and you try to put her logo on a notebook, sure, she can come after you but you're not going to get the trademark trolls. You know, if you put the Nike logo on something, you're still going to get takedowns for it. Um, so here we're going to select cream. We are going to select six by nines. There's all kinds of sizes you can do here, the most popular ones. Um, and then you can also do your own uh, bleed, no bleed. So with bleed, if your interior passes, goes a past the edges, okay, it is bleed. So think of like a line. So if I, I'll stop sharing my screen here and show you this notebook. Um, so this here, this is a line notebook. These lines go past the edge of the page, okay? Therefore, you have to select bleed. Something like this planner here, these lines do not go past the edge. So therefore you do not have to select bleed. It's a very picky thing that takes a little while to understand and get the hang of it. So let's go ahead and share this here. So we're gonna select bleed, matte, glossy. Uh, this is a kid's book, I'll do glossy. Um, this is more personal preference for everything I use, I use matte, but all the kids things I do glossy. Um, let's see, manuscript, we'll upload our interior here. So we're gonna open this up. This will upload and load. And this is why when you do your uploads, I usually do a bunch of different windows at, at once because this uploading process has to go through a processing phase on Amazon. Yes, and now you can see it's processing your file. Um, now you can use their cover creator. It feels like I'm stuck in 1998 when I use it though. So okay. we are going to upload a cover you have already created, print ready PDF. Um, now, if you get to the stage and it's saying to use a PNG or like a, um, a JPEG or something like that here, you're on the ebook section. You need to go back and select paperback. So now we'll upload this. We'll select this here. We will click open. We'll let this load here. 
And now we can sit here for the next 10 minutes while these files process. And that's why, you know, myself and both Neil, we both do, we don't sit down to upload three notebooks at a time. I sit down to upload in batches, usually 75 or more, because you're going to sit here at this screen for a very long time. So if you get to this point on the first tab, and then you should break it down to by step. So do all of your titles on every tab, do all of your subtitles on every tab, and then do all of your keywords and categories, and then go to the next page. And so you should be at the same step on every single tab. So then you get to this point on all 75 tabs, you come in, you hit upload paperback manuscript, you select it, you go to the next tab, you do it on the next tab, and then you go to the third tab, and then the fourth tab, and then you come back through, and then you do the book cover. So you upload the book cover on the first tab, and then do that all the way through. Because once you get to that 75th one, or whatever number it is, the first one's going to be done processing, or pretty much done processing. So you're not just sitting here, um, like we're doing currently. And if you go, so the next step is to click launch previewer. But if you do that before it says it's done processing, it, it will take, I don't know why it will take forever to load or it will never load and air out on you. Yes, it will take quite a while. Um, like if we hit that right now, a little box will come up and I could hit it. And then after so long, it will literally tell you to go make a sandwich. Um, <laughs> and that's not a joke. The first time I saw that, I was kind of like, they have some good humor here. Um, let's see here. Do you have a spreadsheet for all of your uploads to KDP? Yes. Everything goes into a spreadsheet and a Dropbox folder and my external hard drive on my desk. Um, Are VAs allowed? I mean, hiring uploaders. Yeah. Yes. You can use VAs to upload all your books for you if you already have them done. One thing I will say, though, is do not log in at the same time as your VA. Um, and Bookbolt has all the other interiors, all of the interiors already. I don't know. This seems confusing to me. Merch was cake. Jack, see, this is why, you know, KDP is a great opportunity. It's going to frustrate you for the first week. Um, and a lot of people probably won't ever upload to it, or they might upload three and be done with it because they're not willing to spend two weeks learning the platform. Um, but, you know, once you create your interior, it's done. So we can come back here. So you, um, here's the thing. You can either create an interior um, inside the designer, or if you're just talking about lined pages, you can actually grab those from the Bookbolt website. If you go, let me see, where where is it? Jake will show you. And then resources, interior wizard. You can get blank journal, college ruled, wide ruled, and then sheet music here. And the blank is not currently going through because we have not been able to figure out uh, how to add enough text on those pages. Cause they don't want just you to upload a blank book and for you to, to sell that they need to have something on them, but all the other ones will go through. So, you know, journal, so we can click interior wizard here. We'll select mm, college ruled six by nine page count 120. We'll download this and boom, we have our interior. That simple Jack. Uh, I think it would be faster to click on the launch pre previewer button after you see the cover uploaded successfully, even if it appears processing your file. I try to improve my designs in less than five minutes. No need to wait for the done. Um, so no matter they what, out on me. they air, they, for some reason on my computer, they always air out on me. If I do that, if I don't wait for it to be done and I click it, it will literally air out on me after like 20 minutes. Yeah. So I usually, so in batches of 75 to hundred, I usually get that on like two. Um, so out of every hundred, I'd say two air out on me. Um, but I mean, as you can see, these are already done. It's, it was that simple. I used to always go through and click launch previewer, but when I don't, and I just let it all successfully process and upload, I get a lot of, a lot less errors or, you know, timing outs and whatnot. So we can launch previewer here. We'll let this load. And you can see we are good to go. If you have sizing errors, they'll tell you right over here. You know, your cover is 9.250 by 12.550. It needs to be whatever. They'll tell you that right over here. So now you can, we could scroll through all of these pages if we wanted to, um, but they're all the same. So we're just going to click approve. I let this load here. And now it comes right back to that same screen we are on. We will click save and continue. Let this load as well. 
and yeah, now right. you can see all territory. So if we drop, if we select this drop down, we'll put in six ninety nine here, which is a dollar ninety royalty, uh, because I'm doing one hundred and twenty page count. You can see extended, extended, expanded distribution here. I'm going to just go ahead and select that um, because why not? I get, <laughs> I probably get ten to fifteen expanded distribution sales a week. Um, like this past week, it shot up real big. Just one day had a whole bunch. Uh, but like three weeks before that, there was nothing. So it just kind of depends. I don't know if they print those in like certain period time frames, but it's like every once in a while, I'll see a huge spike of expanded distribution and then, you know, they're still selling it. So it's still people buying them. You only make 50 cents per, but it's still a sale. Um, but you can see it automatically goes to Amazon, UK, Germany, France, um, Spain, Italy, and Japan. I believe that's all of those call signs. Yep. Um but it automatically goes there for you. It automatically converts it to, you know, the same price um, point of what they have in other countries. You can also change this. So, you know, if you say, you know, 204 looks ugly um, or I mean, 660 looks ugly here. You could change this to, you know, 699 as well. But you can see what? I've never oh, yeah. seen two dots, two dots, two periods. There we go. So then you can see here, um, but it also includes a VAT. So um, I just leave these as it is. I don't ever change any of them. I literally just type in 699 and I click publish. So then all you have to do now is click publish your paperback book. I'm not going to hit that on the live because it will take me back to my dashboard and you'll see 10 different brand names of mine. Um, but any other questions? That's the entire upload process. If you watch this live back or you're watching live and you have never uploaded before, you're like, that is a ton of steps. Um, I can go through, if I already have my spreadsheet ready of all my keywords and everything I'm going to use, I can go through and upload a hundred in about an hour, hour and a half. Let's see. Laura says, how do we add pictures of the book bold templates? You go to the images tab and you click upload and then you can upload uh, whatever image you have. Share, share. So this is, we'll go back to interior, uh, bleed. Oh. That's not what I want. So there this is your go. interior one. Um, let me delete this junk off of here. My amazing just, drawing. Just go to the layers yes. tab in the left and delete everything. I'm almost done now. Layers down, 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 down. There you go. There you go. There we go. So then you can come here, images, upload, and we'll just select a coffee cup because I already have it. You can put this right here in your interior. You know, if you're creating something coffee, um, you know, you can just create a little coffee cup and put it down here. Boom. <laughs> And now you have an image in here. Um, how about the faintest gray line at the bottom for blanks? Um, there's a certain limit. There's like a certain color code of how dark it would have to be. They're very picky. Um, one shade too light and they're going to reject it. Let's see here. Flav, this isn't for everyone, just like merchants. That completely agree. There's going to be some merchers that love it. There's going to be other merchers that absolutely hate it and never upload a book again. Um, that being said, there is a lot less people doing this. A lot less. Uh, and I, it'll probably stay that way for quite a while. Um, for the simple fact that it does take, you know, it does seem like it takes more work to upload and the process is slower and you know people will sit there for a week and say oh man i haven't had a sale yet kdp doesn't update automatically you know on merch if i order a shirt right now in seven minutes whatever it might be seven eight minutes i'm going to get a notification oh you sold this shirt if i buy a notebook right now i might get a notification in three days because they wait until it's printed um, let's see here. Would you need it to add it manually to each page or does it automatically show up on each of your pages? The image on your interior. Well, it'll mimic it. It will, it'll mirror it all the way through. Correct, Neil? Uh, yeah. So, I mean, the, on the left side is your first page on the right side is your second page and it will just mimic those over and over again. Um, let's see here. Just the one or two pages in book bolt. Depends how you set it up. What is a, a good converting description? Um, Roger, that's going to be up to you. I I can't write your description for you. Every niche is going to be a little different. Um, coworker stuff. I keep most of my descriptions very generic. And then, 
you know, on like some of the coworker things, I'll put some funny jokes and stuff in there. Some of the father's days things, there's some funny stuff. Um, how do you delete a draft on KDP? You don't. Um, it's that doesn't count against you or anything. Yeah, it doesn't. There's no tier limit, so it's just going to stay in draft. For the interior uh, inside book bowl, there's two pages. What if I wanted to just do one page and repeat it? Um, you basically just do one page and then go to your layers tab and duplicate everything and just move them to the other page. So they're, they're both the same. Um, do you get royalties take back for customer returns on KDP like merch does? Not that I've seen. Yep. I've never seen a negative come back through. Um, let's see. Love KDP making as much on it as merch with a fraction of the listing. Nice. Um, yes, I love it. Hillary, I know back in, I believe it was maybe July, June or July, you kind of started dabbling in KDP and then you just started taking off with it. Um, but let's see. Anything else you want to talk about today, Neil? No, I think that's it. I think that was a good, good process to show people it's, not as hard as it seems Quite it's easy once you actually get in there and start looking at it it becomes a lot easier yeah well but, especially since everyone watching this already has designs made you know yes so let's see here i'm just gonna drop the book bolt link again um you can get the monthly you know if you want to try this for a month try it for a month and then you know if you want to update upgrade to a lifetime subscription you can um but there is there is a if you're familiar with merchant former like i'm assuming a lot of people are uh we do have a lister inside of book bowl too so if you're doing the 75 tabs or whatever um you can actually set those up to hotkeys to fill it out for you which speeds it up even more uh makes it very very simple to do this let's see here Uh, for 20% off your subscription. So, you know, you get a three free day trial. Um, I don't think, yeah, I think we did this on like a Thursday last week or a Wednesday. We did it sometime Something last like week. Um, but you know, if today you're like, Oh, I have a little bit of extra time this weekend, sign up for it. You get your three day trial. So you can have it today, Saturday and Sunday, and you can dabble with it this weekend, the lister alone. And I'll share my screen again, real quick before we go um right here so this is your profiles and then you can add and you set your hotkey so i know neil you said you like doing you know something control shift r or whatever <laughs> it might be um but you know you just set your hotkey to whatever you want it to be um you can have your shortcut title uh title i always leave blank for the simple fact that your title changes on every single upload yep subtitle line notebook um author name here we'll just do jacob neil um, description fill out your description here fill out your keyword boxes your categories and then when you go to kdp um you know when you go to kdp all you have to do is hit in this example f3 and it will autofill based on all of these things on that first page so let me do this here real quick and i'll show an example of how to do this make sure it's set to active yes so here we are here's a new tab um and then let me just finish filling some of this out so this is just an example example one and i'm just going to kind of spam in here there's no need to actually fill this out currently um but you can see here we'll just do non-classifiable we'll click done and then let's see, what was that F3? So if we come here and we click F3, boom, it just filled out all of that information for you and a click of a button. So if you're focusing on one niche at a time, this is going to make your life a lot easier. Um, it's, you know, I had the KD Upload Pro and then Neil turned that into a program on steroids. So, it's, it just makes your life so much simpler. Uploading but. is such a pain, no matter if you're uploading to merch or Etsy or anything else. So anything to speed up your time and give it back to you is important. But anyways, thank you, Neil, for joining me. We'll try to do this again next week sometime. Maybe yep. go. People should bring more questions if they have them. Because yes. we're going to keep doing these until people actually jump on KDP and give it a shot. So actually, we have 42 people watching. Probably couple hundred more will watch the replay if I had to guess. Um, you have a challenge. If you have not uploaded to KDP yet, before we do our next live, 
Um, you have to do one upload, at least if you don't do one upload, you're not allowed to watch our lives anymore. Um, because I, we just showed you everything you needed to start uploading. Literally start to finish, create a cover with a merch design, get your interior, how to upload, um, where to put your keywords. So if you can't spend 15 minutes in the next week, by the time we do another live, um, you're not allowed to watch our lives anymore. I think that's, I think that's fair. Um, you think that's fair? Yeah, just because- We're gonna ask next time. We're gonna ask next time. Um, so anyways, thank you, Neil. We'll be back here next week. Same time, different day, probably. Um, I know this time works pretty good for me, but we'll be back. We'll update you. We'll let you know when we're going live. Cool. All right. Thanks guys.